Greetings, Grapple fans! It's Mike Quackenbush here on Free Match Monday, and we're flashing back to piano lessons can be murder and tag team action that opened up the event hosted at our Wrestle Factory. In fact, most of Season 19 was hosted at our home base and training facility. The Wrestle Factory, in addition to offering beginner level 101 classes, seminars, workshops, and more, is a great place to glimpse the developing talent of Chikara. Case in point, it's Boomer Hatfield, the young son of Dasher Hatfield, who just made his pro debut three months ago, teaming up together to take on former tag champs Crummles and Defarge. Crummles and Defarge are former Campeones de Parejas. Uh, capturing those titles, I believe, it was back in Season 17. And once upon a time, even Dasher held the Campeonatos de Parejas. Uh, that, of course, calls to mind the injured Grand Champion of Chikara, Mr. Touchdown Mark Angelicetti, who we hope is quick on his road to recovery. Our best wishes out to him. Looks like it's going to be Boomer Hatfield starting this one off. And strategically speaking, what do you make of that one, letting the lighter and less experienced partner start? Well, of course, you can plainly see Dasher Hatfield doesn't want to get in because he knows he can't beat them. So he sends in his son as the bait. I don't and know if you can try to come in and clean that. it up. You feel like that's plain that he doesn't want to get in the ring? What, what part of his body language told you that? Everything. Everything! You see him warming up over the side here, that's all a ploy. Someone told him to do that. Well, Cornelius Crummels is not going to wait to see if Boomer Hatfield makes look it out, into look the out, corner. Look out. Oh, they aren't wasting any time, Juan. That's right. Dasher Hatfield tried to come in illegally, mind you. Now, you've teamed with Crummels and Defarge in the past. What do you think the Hatfields are going to need to do in order to beat a team the caliber of Crummels and Defarge? They have a great pedigree to their name. Former Campeonatos themselves. Cornelius Crummels and Sonny Defarge. Don't be fooled here. Boomer Hatfield is quick, but he is not smarter than the good businessmen of Cornelius Crummels and Sonny Defarge. Well, I don't know. In terms of wrestling strategy, he seems quite smart indeed. He followed up two Mexican-style arm drags with an arm bar trying but to wear see, down Crummels. You see Mr. Quackenbush. He led him too close to the ropes. He was able to get to that rope way too easy. Well, I'm not surprised to see a rookie mistake, given he is the rookiest member of our entire roster. And Zagiri found the mark in the back of the dome of Cornelius Crummels. Somersault Senton found the mark. One more time. It's a big Senton, this time for Crummels. What else has he got? Woo! Standing moonsault press. Wow, that was all incredibly fast. He maybe, does have speed. Maybe he's just doing too much here. He's expending too much energy too early, and there it is. Well, Juan's making a fantastic point. You might hit E on your gas tank early if you run things at that fever pitch. Speaking of pitches, here comes Dasher Hadfield. That was a terrible pun. I will make so many baseball puns in this match, you don't even know. You're probably right, I won't. Dasher putting the brakes on, caught him right in the bread basket. A closed fist, mind you. Caught him with that European uppercut, did Sonny Defarge, who walked too high with that close on reversal of directions, La Campana into the back elbow. The old timey king of swings starting to mount some momentum. Defarge right behind, it's a deep arm drag to Dasher. Wow. Deep That's arm drag, well into right field. I will call it as I see it, those are beautiful arm drags. I'm not a hypocrite like Dasher Hatfield. I will call them as I see them. I've oh. never called you a hypocrite to your face. Dasher Hatfield caught Cornelius Crumble with a half Nelson and just set up Boomer for that low drop kick. I believe they have a five second count here and I believe they're well past that time. Oh. They ran right into three boots, one from Defarge, two from Crumbles. He's got an excellent drop kick as Cornelius Crumbles. Yes, he does. And I've taught him very well in his time with me. Well, he learned that from you. Yes, his tenure with me was very well spent. Quick to capitalize on that opportunity. You won't see many mistakes out of Crumbles and Defarge, a former championship team. As we mentioned, there aren't a whole lot of gaps in their in-ring strategy. No, no, but I did dump them for those gaps. We must be flawless if you're going to deal with my Ecuadorian Woo! aristocracy. Did you see Sonny Defarge? Just slough Boomer all the way up over his head into a gigantic gorilla press. That, that, that's, that was another mistake there. Well, Should have put his full body weight across the shoulder blades. Look out! 
Hitting combinations don't come much more lackadaisical than the one we saw a moment ago from Sunny Defarge. And that time he tried to bring more of the weight across the plane of the shoulder blades to make a more sound pinning combination. And he follows up with a rolling European uppercut. Folding press good for one it looked like to me. Wow. That kid's got some spunk, that's for sure. A lot of heart in Boomer Hatfield. The same can be said of a lot of our rookies. They really come out here, they want to impress. They really have something to prove, especially to veteran members of the roster. Imagine how much more pressure is on Boomer given who his dad is. That's a mistake, trying to impress veteran wrestlers. This, this is the mistake that all these rookies have. Would you say that's the mistake Travis Huckabee has made? Absolutely, he indeed has. He's been trying to impress veteran Icarus and as a mistake, he is not the grand champion of Chicago. No, however, to Travis's credit, he has probably had the best year of his wrestling career. He won the Johnny Kidd Invitational. You know that's no small feat. I do, that's true. And, and the, I can think the, the reason we can accredit so much success is because of his affiliation with Icarus. I feel like somewhere in there your argument just fell apart. Crumbles and Defarge on the attack. This is one of their favorites. It's Oliver Twist and the... Oh man, they're gonna follow it right up with that body block in the corner. They're not done yet. Dasher's in a whole heap of Took trouble. Took his head off. What a lariat. They came very close to pinning the interim grand champion of Chikara. This is a joke. <laughs> it's quite serious. Have you not been paying attention? You're lucky your bad elbow's on the other side. Like smack <laughs> smack my good elbow if it makes you feel any better, but I think the director of fun in asking our acting but injured champion to name a champion in his stead is one of many ways in which this could have been resolved. I get that it's not the method you would have preferred. Absolutely not. It should have reverted right back to my championship reign. Is there any precedent for that in the history of wrestling, a title reversion? Uh, uh, this is a first, as, as it should be. I will correct pro wrestling. You will correct pro wrestling? Thank goodness. Well, what a treat it is having Juan Francisco de Coronado here on commentary with me as Sonny Defarge got caught with that drop toe hold. That's the second time Dasher was able to use that against Defarge. Oh, and once again, Boomer setting up crumbles. The family Hatfield are on the same page, same paragraph, same sentence, Juan. You know, Mr. Quackenbush, I believe Dasher is leading his son into a life of hypocrisy. Right now, instead of playing fair, he has his son in illegally. They are clearly past the five count, and this is all Dasher Hatfield's doing. He has taught his son the ill ways of the professional wrestling rules. What do you know about the ill ways of the professional wrestling rules? Be because of your experience breaking the rules? Mr. Quackenbush, let me explain something very clear to you. Dasher Hatfield calls himself Mr. Fair Play. I will do what I have to do to retain the victory. I feel like you were going to arrive at your point, and the point did not arrive. Crumbles and Defarge now have freed themselves from the suspender version of the Kamigatame. And at this point, I will admit Bryce Rensburg giving a little leeway to the Hatfields in the ring. Yeah. them dueling belly to belly suplexes from father and son. Look out here. Shoulder boomers on the outside. Can't get that flying body. So there holds Defarge aloft. What a display of power and what a display of teamwork from Dasher and Boomer. At what point will Bryce Rumford finally get Boomer out of here? What a terrific one-footed kick into the backslide. I like the combination offense of the Hatfields, even if it does seem like they're really stretching that, you know, the uh, limits of the referee here. From the unprettier all the way around, all the way around again, abdominal stretch is applied. Dasher Hatfield likes this one, but look at Sneeze to the face and out he goes. Rummel's just hip tossing Dasher right over the top. Follows up with a great forearm to Boomer. Boomer is all alone in the ring after that extended period where all four wrestlers were in the ring because they were all flirting with a disqualification there. And a block from Boomer. Perched up on that middle rope. What's he got? Leaping out. He lands. Whoa, into a wow. corner. Monkey flip. It's impressive. Boomer's got some impressive offense in him, but I how long? I've ever seen that done before. How long can he last by himself here? Boomer's revving up a dive, and Sonny Defarge intercepts. Oh, the fever dream connects in the dead center of the ring. Shoulders are down. Oh, it's a count That's of a three. three. That's a three.
An impressive win for the likes of Crummles and Defarge in our opening contest today on hashtag Piano Murder. We're using that for short. Thanks for joining us on Chikaratopia. Juan Francisco de Coronado, are you the least bit surprised to see Crummles and Defarge airing their armpits at the end of that match? Not one bit. Hypocrites will never succeed.